y'all, it's Tammy with Real Southern Woman, and I have a vacuum cleaner behind me. I didn't even notice that till now. Oh. Have y'all been waiting all day to see me color my hair? <laughs> Woo! Lordy B. Um, I, ha I didn't color my hair again, and I have to meet my brother in Rome tomorrow. Um, I promised him I would, and I was hoping to get my hair colored before I had to go. But all me and Chris have done today is cook, and cook, and cook, and cook. <laughs> so we've done a lot of videoing, which is good because y'all get to see some good food, and we get to eat some good food. So uh, I'm actually drinking coffee now, and you see the chocolate pie. It's going to premiere at 9. I tried to get it... Uh, Facebook has been acting weird. I tried to get my pie on there earlier. It went on there. Um, but then I had re I had tried to load it at a different time. Well, anyway, it's playing again tonight. I think around 9. I don't really know for sure what time I put it on there for. All I know is um, I've cooked all day. So, I just got a peach cobbler out of the oven, and it's the famous cup a cup a cup. You know, the one you do when you're cooking supper, and you're in a hurry, and it's good with any kind of fruit. I just like to double up on the fruit. Mama always you said that the recipe was for one can of peaches, but I always use two cans um, if I'm using canned fruit. So, of course, you don't use pie filling. You use fruit, okay? Fruit and syrup, Okay. So you use peaches in syrup or um, I think it'd be good with blackberries or blueberries or anything like that. I think it'd be really good. And I always have to put a little cinnamon stuff in mine because that's the way I like it. And we actually reduce the amount of flour and stuff in it because we think it dries it out if we don't. We like ours runny. I mean like soupy but not runny runny. But I, you know what I mean. We like it juicy. How's that? But um, I brushed up on my reading about Joseph and um, Jacob and his brothers. Well, Jacob's sons and Joseph's brothers uh, before I came on. Um, she says her screen is black. She can hear, but she cannot see me. Looking forward to the live post at 9. Is everybody else having a problem with their screen or is it just Rebecca? Carol and Je uh, Joy and everybody else, can you guys see me? Let me know right quick before I continue. Can you see me on the screen? Can y'all let me know, please? Nobody's commenting. Or if, it, if, if you're commenting, it's delayed. Last one I got was Carol Bauer said, Hi, Tammy. I can see you fine, Marilyn said. Well, thank you, Marilyn. I can see you fine, Anita said. Thank you. Um, so apparently somebody's just having a hard time with their uh, reception. Okay? So it's good to see everybody tonight. It is Wednesday night, and um, I'm happy to be here. I'm here a little early. I know. Um, I just, I go back and forth with this Bible study. You just may as well get ready to see me anytime between 8 and 10. How's that? It's just how my schedule's going. Uh, right now, I still got a, a beautiful apple pie in my oven that has to come out in a few minutes. And I uh, just took out a peach cobbler. We've made a chocolate pie today. We've made chicken salad today. We've made macaroni delight today. So, y'all are in for treats the next coming few days. Um, y'all get to see plenty of videos and not old ones for a change now that I'm finally at home. So, I figured y'all would like that. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Lord. How about it? So, um, we are, um, in chapter 45 is where we start tonight when Joseph reveals himself to his brothers. Um, and the last time they were there, you know, he had to leave the room and keep the tears from flowing and then, you know, get his composure together and then go back in there. Um, and then this time he gets to tell them who he is, okay? I can just imagine being away from my family for as long as he's been away um, and knowing that they had sold me 
you know, how it must have felt, but he had a loving heart, and um, he sure loved his brothers, and he really loves his daddy and his little brother, don't he? So, and you can tell that by what he gives the youngest compared to the other brothers. And I think it's because the youngest didn't have anything to do with selling him into slavery. And he knows that. So, um, plus, he, they have the same mama. Um, so, he gets to tell his brothers who he is. He gets to hug them and hold them and tell them that, it was God's idea, not their idea. Now, it's kind of strange to think that God would have somebody do something bad or have somebody make a choice that would seem like it would be out of his will and understand it. But God can do those kinds of things if the plan is there for later, okay? Even if we don't like it, even if um, we don't think it's his, you know, would be something that would be his will, doesn't mean that it's not, okay? And so I love the part where, and this is how I believe, and I've always believed like this, and especially after I became a cancer survivor, I put all my trust in God, and I totally believe in Him 100%. Either you throw, you know, either you believe Him or you don't. Either you trust Him or you don't. Either you think He's in control or you don't. So, I believe He is, and I believe that He's in control of everything. Now, do I think we can make bad choices? Of course we can. But just listen to this. It is just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um... Let me find it. Then Joseph said to his brothers, this is the best part. I am Joseph. Does my father still live? But his brothers could not answer him, for they were dismayed in his presence. And Joseph said to his brothers, please come, come near to me. And they came near, and then he said, I am Joseph, your brother, whom you sold into Egypt. But now... Do not therefore be grieved or angry with yourselves because you sold me here. For God sent me before you to preserve life. For these two years, the famine has been in the land, and there are still five years in which there will be neither plowing nor harvesting. And God sent me before you to preserve a posterity for, your, for you in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you who sent me here, but God, and he has made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all of his house and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. Now when I read that, I just get chills. I really do. I know it's the Holy Spirit in me. He likes it, you know. Um, so it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that was chapter 45. And in 40, uh, 45, he tells him to go get his daddy. Pharaoh says that it's absolutely fine for him to bring his family there. And that he's going to take care of them. And not only is he going to take care of them, he's going to give them the best land that he has. And he's going to feed them well. And they're going to do well there. And so the boys, uh, he sends them home with a lot of uh, rewards and gifts and things for his dad. They go home and tell his daddy. His daddy's really excited, of course. He can't believe it at first. But then when he's seen all of the uh, food and the donkeys and the uh, things that his son had sent, then he believed it. And he was just so wonderfully happy. And he does build an altar um, on his journey back home. And God does come to him and tell him not to be afraid to live in Egypt, that he's going to take care of him. And so he settles there. 
um, and he and he goes there to live. Now, when he gets to meet the Pharaoh, he blesses the Pharaoh, and um, so I mean it's all it's all a beautiful picture. I was going to read you. Um, it says that Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt in the country of Goshen. And Israel is Joseph's dad. He had possessions there and grew and multiplied exceedingly. And Jacob lived in the land of Egypt 17 years. So the length of Jacob's life was 100 and 47 years. When the time drew near for him to die, um, he asked Joseph to please take him home and let him be buried with their fathers. And Joseph makes a promise to him and then he dies. So we're going to end it there at the end of 47. But it was just a beautiful time um, for the boys to get to uh, see what God had done in their lives, how he took something terrible and made something beautiful out of it and saved their lives. And that is the lineage of Christ. And um, so he was in, of course, you know, you're probably thinking, well, you know, I know God was in control of that because it was the lineage of Christ. And uh, of course he had to have his hand on that because Jesus was gonna come from those people. And that is true, uh, but he still has plans for each and every one of us. And he has uh, things that he has in store for us, whether or not we get to see them now or know why until we get to heaven. And then we'll know is one thing, but we should always trust him, okay? And so that's a beautiful picture of um, how God blessed that family. And I hope y'all have enjoyed reading it. Um, let, let's see what the next couple of chapters are. It's um, Jacob blesses Joseph's sons. Jacob, he has his last words to his sons. So now, um, oh my goodness, this is, this is the one where he talks to all of his sons and tells them how they've been. And that's pretty deep, y'all. So it's like poetry in a way. So y'all, if y'all aren't going to read anything but, you know, just a little bit, read chapter 49 before we meet again. Um, and I will try to come back on here. Uh, let's see, tomorrow, tomorrow, I'm I'm going to try to be on here tomorrow, but I'm, I can't promise, okay? Um, and Friday, hopefully I will be able to. Uh, I know my sister is going to come over here Friday, so if she stays late, it's just according to how late she's here. All right. Um, I hope y'all had a blessed day. I hope that, um, I don't know. I'm just happy that I got a lot of video and done today. <laughs> and I'm drinking some coffee. Last night I didn't have any coffee before I went to bed. Tonight I'm treating myself. And if you want to know what's in my coffee, um, International Delight. Um, Colstone Creamery, and Apple Pie Spice from Penzies. I sprinkled it in there and, and stirred it up. And it's delish. And if I didn't have all these sweets in the house, I would put some Cool Whip, I'm not Cool Whip, but whipping cream on the top of it, but I did. So, I don't think I got anything cool to tell y'all tonight. I don't think. Except that I didn't curl my, I mean, I didn't color my hair again. Maybe tomorrow, I thought about doing it tonight, but I'm too tired. So maybe tomorrow when I get home from uh, my chores with my brother, I can do my hair. We'll just have to wait and see. This is a clip. Isn't it cute? You just buy them. You know, you can buy them online. See how ugly it is without it? So it's just got a comb in it, see? And then you just put the pretty little hair on there and... Stick your hair up in a ball, especially if you don't have a lot of hair. Now, I got a lot of hair, so I can make, I can make my hair this pretty if I want to. I just, you know, when I'm, when I'm lazy and I don't have to, I can do this. And just clip that in there like that. 
And then I got, got a nice little curly bun on top of my head. Matches my shirt. <laughs> I hope y'all have a good night. And um, I will see y'all live on Color Valley Cooks watch, watching my chocolate pie. Let's say our prayers and um, just be happy to be here. Be happy to be alive. I know this uh, weather in Georgia anyway has been kind of gloomy. Ugh, it ain't done nothing but rain and now it's going to be cold. Uh, but, you know, that's just part of it. But the good thing about it being rainy and cold is it makes you want to get in the kitchen and cook something good. So, um, let's just say our prayers. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you today for your Son, Jesus Christ, who came here um, to do your perfect will and to die for our sin. We praise you that you have plans, plans for us, uh, plans for our future, and plans for this world excuse me, and plans for the church that your son actually died for. Um, I pray that you would help us be encouraged, help us to be happy, to um, love people, to say nice things to people, to be the kind of person somebody wants to be around so that we can shine your light. May you forgive us of our many sins, for we all sin and uh, fall short of the glory of God, that's for sure, just as it in your scripture says. Uh, be with us and help us want to love and know you better. In Christ's name we pray, amen. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow, and I'll see y'all tonight during the video, okay? Bye.